Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you can hear me. Let me go ahead and accept recording on all of my computers right now. Okay, got it. Let me go ahead and flip around my iPhone back so it's on me. That was swizzle this morning. Um, having your beauty rest on today, March 2nd, 2022. This is going to be my 239th day of being sober. Hopefully it's a wonderful video. Um, I apologize in advance for bugs you may be seeing in my videos. With, there may be portions that are muted. There may be portions that are choppy. The choppiness would be due to my laptop. I'm trying to keep it running as smoothly as I can, but with my Ethereum validation in the background, it gets choppy from time to time. I apologize for that. I'll try to minimize that as much as I can. YouTube's been muting me, even my no copyright segments. So I don't really understand what's going on right now. They're trying to keep me down, but they're going to need to fight harder against me to knock me out. So keep putting out these videos as much as I can. Hopefully they're helpful. If they are, please like the videos. They really help my channel grow. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified of all future videos from the channel. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much again. I thank you so much. Hopefully you're getting a lot of uh, good information and value from my channel. And Swizzle is still resting, so I'm going to let her be. If she has to get up, I might put her in her playpen. But let me go and start sharing my screen. And pull up the spreadsheet for the day. I really want to jump into a lot of spreadsheet stuff today. I touched on it yesterday during my Biden pregame for the State of the Union. But in case that video is kind of hard to follow, this one hopefully is better. I should be in the upper right-hand corner now. Um, music should be very quiet in the background. So let's go and jump right into this. I just updated prices for the day, March 2nd, 2022. So let's do the price update for crypto. Bitcoin is at $44,560. It's nice seeing a price that high. I got to admit, the way February went, I didn't think we'd be seeing close to $45,000 Bitcoin at this point as I had actually implemented a bearish segment of my spreadsheet before more bullishness and so here of course i knew swizzle was gonna get up A little brat let me put her away i'll be right back yeah. say hi swizzle Okay, I'm back, obviously. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me good again. Let me go and go through the price updates. Swizzle says hi and good morning. Bitcoin, $44,560. Ethereum, just under $3,000. XRP, 77.26 cents. Litecoin, $111.22. Dogecoin, 13.38 cents. SafeMoon, 0.13 cents. Nice little rally by SafeMoon, thank you. VeChain, 5.27 cents. Energy Web Token, $5.63. Cronus, 44.68 cents. Aqua BNB LP, $438.51. Gamma 21 cents, Gamma BNB LP uh, $18.95, Aqua $109.86, Songbird 8.15 cents. Still waiting for Infinity Vaults out at Planet Finance. You guys are killing me, but I know you're working hard on getting them out. I know everybody else wants them. It's not just me. So I'd rather them come out not buggy than releasing them too early. But still, very anxious for those to come out. Should be huge for the Planet Finance ecosystem. Recap for the day. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this right now because I forgot to do this for you guys, but I can do this on the fly. I know how to do this. I've done this a time or two before. Go ahead and copy this guy. Paste it right here. Need to go ahead and put this back at one because it's a new month. And I think everything should be updated here. So that was pretty easy. Let me go ahead and scroll it over. I like to have all time high, well, all time, 2022 high and 2022 low prices in these columns visible for you guys to see. But this is the column we should be looking at for today. This is the change from March 1st to March 2nd. 
It's actually less than I expected. I thought we'd be seeing a lot more green and blue. We're seeing a lot from Safe Moon, almost 12% growth in Safe Moon. I noticed that this morning. Um, I guess Bitcoin had most of its gains yesterday along with other crypto, but not no red here. So it's great to see that after a after after a day of huge gains, you would expect some pullback. We aren't seeing that today, so that's very bullish for the market. Day, uh, daily tab updated, day change tab updated, percent change tab updated, percent all-time highs, nothing new. The graph looking great. In fact, you can't even see how high Bitcoin is over here on the right because my video, uh, my cameras are blocking it, but BTC on a nice tear lately, even Gamma BNB up from its lows from about a week ago. <clears throat> Sorry, had to clear my throat. Congested in the morning waking up and trying to get going for the day. But I really want to touch on the four blue tabs, which are projection type tabs for you guys to hopefully get a lot of benefit from making your own financial projections. Uh, quickly going through the rest of the spreadsheet, nothing changing on the weekly tabs, the config tab, the DFS tab. This is what I touched on in the video last night. Uh, different matrices for why Bitcoin could go up, be neutral or go down based on the Russia-Ukraine conflict, State of the Union, the fact that it's a new month. I'll be doing these tabs or I'll be touching on this tab from time to time. I'll probably put random stuff on this tab for you guys and then cover it in a video, but nothing new for today. Jumping into the new tab, which I touched on last night, which I'll try to cover in greater detail today, is the how much tab is, you know, a very common video I like to make on YouTube. Other YouTubers like to make. Um, it's a common question. It would be nice if there was just a simple solution. I'm going to try to simplify, simplify the process for you guys in this tab. But a common question out there, especially somebody new into investing, new into crypto, is how much money should I put into Bitcoin? How much money should I buy of crypto? And so hopefully this tab helps you guys out. Is As I've said a lot of times in previous videos, but I'm a broken record, I'm going to say it again, is you know, the modern investor, he's done these videos and I love him. He's got a good sense of humor that sits well with me. And so, you know, they'll ask him, how much Bitcoin should I buy? And the smart ass, sarcastic answer is, $5,000. That's what you should buy. And of course, that's, you know, tongue in cheek. And that's, you know, ridiculous because everybody has their own financial goals. They, they need their own financial planning. And so to just give a cookie cutter answer like $5,000 is ridiculous. For some people, $5,000 of Bitcoin might be enough, especially if you're in a country outside of the United States, $5,000 worth of Bitcoin might be, might be enough to live off of the rest of your life. I'm not sure. But Hopefully the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet helps you guys out in terms of reaching your goals, which might be $5,000 worth of Bitcoin, or it might be much more the way this is set up. This is saying you need to get to half a million dollars worth of Bitcoin to really realistically be able to live off of that the rest of your life. So we'll go ahead and jump into this. Um, the one thing I guess I would also say is, you know, in my videos, I also like to say, you know, it's hard to give a dollar answer for people. But if I have to give a percentage answer or some kind of answer to newbies asking how much Bitcoin should I buy, Josh, I'll tell them, try to allocate 1% of your net worth to Bitcoin. And the example, which is so easy to give, is that if you have a million dollars net worth, that means $10,000 worth of Bitcoin is what you should buy. That'd be 1% of that person's net worth. Well, if that $10,000 worth of Bitcoin goes to zero, that person still has $990,000 worth of net worth, assuming that their portfolio hadn't even grown in the meantime, but just keeping all things constant. If they lost that $10,000 worth of Bitcoin, not a huge hit to that person's portfolio. But if Bitcoin does what I think it's going to do, which is roughly 10x in the short term, which is over the next couple of years, that $10,000 worth of Bitcoin would turn into $100,000 worth of Bitcoin, which is a significant increase to a million dollar portfolio, as I know I could do a lot with an additional $100,000. So, you know, that's just a basic example I try to give to new people showing how powerful just a 1% investment into Bitcoin can be. Obviously, if you love Bitcoin and crypto as much as I do, I have to put way more than 1% of my net worth into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And as people get familiar with the industry and start realizing if it's for them, if the volatility is too much, if it stresses them out too much, or if they see the long-term gains and the life-changing wealth they can get from this thing, they're either going to be okay with that 1% or they're going to want to put way more than 1% into this industry. So that's individual preference, but at least starting small with people. I don't 
go to new people and say, yeah, I need to put 100% of your net worth into Bitcoin. That's a little bit ridiculous. Um, I don't even have 100% of my net worth into Bitcoin. As you can tell right here, 75% Bitcoin, 17% Ethereum, 2.6% XRP and down the list. But um, anyway, that's a good way to get started. But hopefully this tab also helps you guys get started. And this also integrates into the other blue tabs I've listed down here. So Going over the how much tab here, it starts with how much money do you need per day? This is a good question to ask yourself to get started. Now, based on this article here by www.fool.com, it says that the average American needs about $5,100 a month. Or when I say they need that, that's roughly what they spend. So when I say that's what they need, the American average household monthly expenses are $5,111 per month. I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which has a lower cost of living. I'm fairly frugal and, you know, try to save money as opposed to spend it. I mean, I will spend money where I get value as I'll never forget going to Coachella years ago. And, you know, that cost a bit of money to head to California, but what a life changing experience. What a blast it was going out there with my friends. So, you know, I'm willing to spend money where I feel I'm going to get value out of it. But 5000 a month, that's higher than what I spend. But I'm using this as an example for you guys. You might have a higher cost of living. Maybe you want to be buying Lambos all the time. Maybe you have a lower cost of living. Maybe you're from a country outside of the United States. So you may have to change this or you should change this based on your own personal preferences. I know for myself, I would have different numbers than are in the spreadsheet. But I'm going to go ahead and leave those numbers as is. As an example, I have $500 for utilities, $400 for insurance, $1,800 for rent, $600 for meals, $800 for transportation, $500 for fun, and just a flexible category of $500 for other, leading to the $5,100 per month, which would be $170 per day. How much money do you need per year? Well, multiply that by 365 days in a year. That's about $62,000 per year. You really need to live off of I, I want to say the rest of your life, you see there's inflation in the world. So this number is only going to keep going up and up and up. But at the same time, hopefully your crypto investment keeps going up and up and up to offset that, to more than offset that. Now, the next thing you really need to look at is APRs. What do you expect to get per year? Well, right now I have this set up for the stable coin interest you can earn at Planet Finance. Feel free to click this link right here. I personally am getting roughly 30% APR from Planet Finance. I started much higher than that. We've had some growing pains with the Green Planet release to Planet Finance. But for myself, I would personally put my APR at 30%, which means I would need $200,000 worth of investment, which would allow me to live off of that the rest of my life. Is the goal of the spreadsheet, the goal of, I think, investing, or one of the goals at least, is to live off of the interest you earn on your principal. Once you start tapping into your principal, that just goes down and down and down until you have nothing la left and then you have to start all over again. As long as you don't touch your principal and can just live off of the interest you're getting from your principal, you can do that into perpetuity. So that's a goal of mine. That hopefully is a goal of you guys. That helps lead toward retirement where you can do something into perpetuity for the rest of your life. And again, if you ever had to tap into your principal, at least you know it's there for emergency. But if you can live off of your interest, that's sustainable. So I'm going to leave this on stable coins for now. You might be more interested in the stock market where historically you get 10% annual return, bonds, 3% annual return, CDs, 0.4% annual returns. Highly advise against investing in CDs. I think that's a worthless investment. Heck, inflation is higher than that. But if you're into CDs, go ahead and enter that for your APR. Uh, I hope you guys aren't doing that, but I have it in here anyway. And then my lucky numbers too. So if you just want to go with 22.22% APR, I don't have any investment which gives me that return, but it's just a lucky number for me. Go ahead and put that in here and it'll say that you need $279,000 worth of principal to retire on. But yeah, I'm going to leave this on stable coins for now. To me, that's a balance of being conservative. I think for being invested in crypto, that's a very conservative APR. But at the same time, it's better than you get in a lot of other investment opportunities in the world. And it is stable coins. So if you're trying to find something which gets you out of the volatility of Bitcoin, Ethereum, other more volatile cryptocurrencies, if you get APR like this on stable coins, which are tied to the US dollar, I think 12% is a decent uh, expectation of APR from this model, which again says you need $517,000 of principal to be able to live off of that the rest of your life based on this model. 
catch my breath. Based on current prices, that means you need 11.6 Bitcoin. That's quite a bit of Bitcoin. That's assuming that prices stay the same the rest of your life and that you only live off of the APR you could get at Planet Finance. Now, with that being said, if you actually bought this amount in Bitcoin, I believe you get 2 or 3% APR at Planet Finance. This isn't actually a reasonable model if all you're doing is buying in Bitcoin. This is really assuming you're buying Bitcoin, eventually cashing it out into stable coins, and then living off of those stable coins the rest of your life. So you're going to have to play with this uh, and dig into deeper detail if you want to truly tailor this to your specific situation. But I'm trying to create a model which is complex enough to give you a realistic number, which this is saying you need $294 per, per week investment. If you can invest about $300 per week, you should be able to achieve your retirement goals in five years. I'm trying to create a spreadsheet which gives you that kind of answer, $300 per week for five years to retire. So that's pretty simple, but has enough complexity where this is a realistic enough answer where it's not just me throwing out, hey, you need to buy $5,000 worth of Bitcoin. So model hopefully is complex enough to be realistic and simple enough to understand and use. That's my goal. But anyway, assuming current prices, you need 11.6 Bitcoin, but integrating that I see Bitcoin getting to $300,000 in the short term future in the next couple of years, that means that you only need 1.7 Bitcoin to achieve your goal of $500,000 worth of investment. So based on future prices, that means you would need to invest $76,000, $77,000 right now, which comes out to about $1,500 for a year or $300 for five years. So again, you can play with this number over here. This can exchange your time horizon less than or greater than five years. Maybe you already have an amount invested. You can put a dollar amount in this cell right here. Feel free to change these percentages and your monthly amount. But hopefully the spreadsheet helps get you guys started in terms of a realistic goal for you guys to hopefully achieve your financial freedom, your life-changing wealth, your financial dreams. Um, I'm going to use this for myself to help me. You know, sometimes I just get mindless with my investing and it's just let's buy crypto but what am I really working toward well for me getting toward this living off of interest the rest of my life is a current goal of mine and so this might help myself invest a certain amount per week to build my planet finance coins I can change this to aqua or the gamma BNB LP if I'm investing in the Aqua BNB LP because I expect it to grow faster in relation to Bitcoin, I only need to invest about $100 per week to get to my retirement goal. So, you know, play around with which crypto you're interested in, your expected APR, your monthly expense goals, and hopefully the spreadsheet helps you out. And let me go ahead and put this back on Bitcoin because what this does is this actually integrates into the goal tab right here. This is saying that bi-weekly, Based on the fact that you need about $300 per week, of course, that comes out to about $600 every two weeks. Well, now you can start using the goal tab and whether you want to invest bi-weekly or you can change it to weekly or daily, it can be an amount every time period or you can force yourself to get to your goal, which right now I still have as about 0.3 Bitcoin, which I'll get to in a second. I don't want to jump around too much. That way you guys don't get lost. But you know, based on what I'm doing in the how much tab, that's going to update this periodic investment on the goals tab, which hopefully changes, you know, what you're looking toward at on a daily basis. The spreadsheet gives you data on a daily basis. And of course, right now is scheduled to stop at the end of 2022. But of course, you can change that up here in this cell. So if you want to project out for five years, you could actually project out to five years the way this tab is set up. So feel free to look at this tab to get an idea of, you know, based on different growth assumptions in cryptos right now, this is still set up to have declining uh, crypto. So Bitcoin going to $30,000 until the end of Q2 2022, and then increasing toward that $300,000 goal toward the Bitcoin having March 28th, 2024. But as I previously alluded to, this tab also links to, to the BC, this tab also links to the BTC Proj tab in that this tab tells you that if you can get to about 0.34 Bitcoin, 
based on a very optimistic assumption that we get to a $56 trillion market cap and based on the amount of Bitcoin, which is out in the world right now, which kind of integrates the maximum amount of Bitcoin offset by the amount of lost Bitcoin. This is saying if you can get to 0.34 Bitcoin that you might be at a retirement goal based on other assumptions you can make in your life. And so this goal increases the amount of Bitcoin I have by that 0.34 Bitcoin and helps me, you know, come up with a plan of how am I actually going to get that additional 0.4 Bitcoin. And a lot of this is still based around my projection tab, which tells you that in the midterm, so the, by the end of quarter two, 2022, I'm expecting Bitcoin to go down to 30,000, Ethereum to go down to 2,000. I'm expecting sort of bearish sentiment because that's what we've been seeing lately in the market. Based on recent growth, it'd be nice if I could totally get rid of this midterm column and just say we're going to have growth from here on out. But you know, I'm trying to be realistic with my models. This integrates an element of bearishness in addition to long-term bullishness. And so the long-term bullishness is that Bitcoin I have is a target of $300,000, Ethereum $24,000, Ripple $15, and a goal target of by the next Bitcoin halving, which is March 28th, 2024. So again, hopefully you find this content useful. Use these blue tabs to help you out in your own life with your own financial planning to reach your own financial goals and achieve, achieve life-changing wealth. That's what I'm trying to help you guys with this spreadsheet. Keep, tra keep track of crypto prices daily. You can analyze it against other dates, such as January 24th, 2022, which was when Bitcoin was its low point of 2022. Since then, Bitcoin is up. This is over a period of what, five, six weeks? Bitcoin is up 30% from that period. Ethereum, 32%. Ripple, 33%. Litecoin, Unfortunately, only 7.6%, with Mimblewimble still very disappointing for Litecoin. Dogecoin, 1%. That's a small investment for me, so I don't really care. SafeMoon, down 20%. It has a lot of room to recover. Hopefully, they're turning the corner and people are getting excited again. Uh, if they could ever come out with that exchange, that would be huge for SafeMoon. That's a game changer. VeChain, up 11%. Cronus, about 29%. The Aqua BNB LP, 20%. But conversely, Gamma down 16%. So you're seeing mixed results at Planet Finance Aqua. I got in at a pretty good time, uh, about as low as $80 for part of my investments. So that's up 22.2% from there. My lucky number, 222. Love that. So anyway, I think that's enough spreadsheet for today. Um, I really didn't have anything else planned for you guys. This came up randomly. Um, Let's see, how are we doing? I don't know how long we've been recording. I don't need this video to drag on. Again, if you've enjoyed this kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified of all future videos from the channel. I guess I never actually did my intro videos, so I could always do that for you guys. Better late than never. Um, I don't think I actually shared music with you guys. And so that might actually be a good thing because I've been getting this copyright muting by uh, YouTube. So you can't hear the music I've been listening to in the background. But that's okay. I can start sharing it now along with my intro video. See if this takes me to where I'm looking. This is random UNM stuff. I need to put in my NU, unm.nu, bronco.tv. That's the website. That's where you can download the spreadsheet I just went over today. This is the intro video. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to another video from your University of New Money, University of New Mercy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit all notifications. That way you're notified of all future videos that come out from the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. I'm going to go ahead and get the tray for the disclaimer at the end of this video. And this lets me get through this ad. Horrible what's happening in Ukraine. Hopefully that conflict gets resolved soon. Um, is there anything else I really want to look at at the moment? Um, I guess we can look at my Ethereum validating. Right now it's running like a champ. Love that. Um, this has improved a lot since I got this laptop. Uh, a lot more, a lot fewer misses. So 
this laptop's been totally worth the money, I think about $250. This is going to come way up as this is the proposing of blocks. And this is bad when I had my last laptop, but it's been perfect ever since I've gotten this new one. You can see my income over time over here. Even at the very beginning when I had my crappy laptop still getting very nice income, I had periods where my laptop went down. This is the period here where I decided I just have to get a new laptop. My old one just flat out quit working with validating. We've had nice peaks such as right over here. That's when this uh, sinking went into play. So whatever sinking is, I hope they bring that back. I was getting stupid gains at that point. Um, I don't see anything else I really want to look at. I guess we look at my... Let's look at Planet Finance. Anything new here? I'd be thrilled to death if it just looked totally different and we had Infinity Vaults, G Gamma, G Aqua, that's what I'm looking for. Now nah, it still looks the exact same to me, but $110 Aqua, 21 cent Gamma. Um, still a big conversation right now is, you know, how they want to market Planet Finance using the treasury. They need to hit marketing hard as I'm trying to get the word out with my channel. They need to get the word out professionally. I hope it helps, which is why this is a great time to get into Planet Finance. They haven't even started their marketing strategy. So if you're finding out about it right now, I think this is a wonderful time to get into Planet Finance. Uh, let's take a look at some charts, I guess. Aqua. over the past 24 hours all over the place. But if we look at the past 14 days, all over the place, so that's Planet Finance for you. Everybody just in waiting mode, waiting for these Infinity Vaults to be released. Let's take a look at the Daily Lobo. Show you guys my ads. This is the article which came out. So you can even find the Daily Lobo print versions online here. Always a fan of the Daily Lobo. Wrote an article for them back in the day on a I believe it was women's soccer and a goaltender and their coach. I don't remember the details, but women's soccer at UNM, they won that game. Good stuff. Go Lobos. University of New Mexico. And here we go. If you go to the last page, love that ad right there. Clear headedness, competitiveness, cryptocurrency, http colon slash slash unm.nu. What do you think of this ad? You like it, dislike it? Have recommendations? If so, please leave your comments in the comments section. I'll definitely take them into consideration. And again, I'll need to drag this on. I think this is enough content for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video there. I hope you've enjoyed, gotten a lot of content, uh, gotten a lot of value out of this content. Again, please leave comments. I will read them, I will respond to them. And so if you have questions on how to use the spreadsheet, recommendations for improvements, I'm all ears. So enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your Ash Wednesday. I got church in a couple hours. Um, not giving up anything for Lent. If anything, I'm adding things for Lent. I'm doing more videos. I'm helping you guys out more. That's my goal for Lent. Take care and God bless. Thank you again for watching this video from your UNM.NU. This is the disclaimer. This is not financial advice. The information from UNM.NU, University of New Money, and University of New Mercy, and any of these other likenesses is provided for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell that way you're notified of all future videos which come out from the channel. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're looking forward to the next one and take care.